Oi. Uh, ah. This is... Life is strange. Indeed it is. Although in this, it's a bit stranger than you may think. Mm. This is a game that has been bought for me by Champ, who himself has played this game. I think he role played it. He didn't stream it though, so we don't get to see any of that, unfortunately. But um, this is my look at it. Here we go. New game. So surreal. Games, they called film little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, shh, shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. She could have taken I should upgrade to the 21st century. I have to admit, but I like I'm not it old a big school. Fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victor. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily America. selfie quota. And it was honesty about the economic conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. 
your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. If I can't turn this now, chick Max, into a serial killer and kill this asshole, I don't want to play conversation, this game. Can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype... My little camera self, bag is battered, but still Robert kicking. Cornelius. You can find out all about him. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. I got an achievement for that. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. She has a really exciting life. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Smack? I didn't realize that kids were so much into, you know, This is ridiculous. Drugs I always get so shy and nervous around less. Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. 
I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. That's it. That's what he's gonna tell me. Yeah, it's such an inspiration. I would go out and murder people. He told me. He told me to murder people. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Any leap of it's mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith. Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the cute. real world. Hot. <laughs> then I might send you a <laughs> well, at least they're trying to be realistic. <laughs> Not everyone looks like a model. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. American girls, it's sad to imagine I hate having everybody see inside my world. I love that picture of mom and dad. Like Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous you. as usual. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side It looks like she's been gone for months To all of you American girls in the movies No one can tell where you're Shine as smiles and plastic buddy. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <laughs> the last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. <laughs> I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy?
Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time machine. In black and white. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't Diana. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? But the oh god. <laughs> because of her Keep it together, and Max. Faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. And when children. I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does That's again, like I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you <laughs> in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the, es the essence of post-war America. 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 
Rock. Beat America. America. And there was America. Post war beat America. Beat America. War beat America. So post war beat America. And there was honesty <laughs> about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty I without can a beauty. See me with this. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Of the 20th century poet. You dig? You dig? You dig? You dig? You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Like Cocteau, he was a true. <laughs> too good to and play his self portraits are famous. Early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. <laughs> no, the selfie. And it's a great tradition, and I wholeheartedly fight for your right to self-expression. Or selfie. Can we make it go faster? <laughs> Sorry. I know. So if anybody Space wants to that. question yeah. Yeah. the portrait is modern narcissism, they could go back hundreds of years to blame society. Oh, come on. Speaking of questions, I bet you thought I'd talk all the way into the bell ring. It's your turn to lecture us. Now, based on the chapters, I have no doubt you all memorized. Who can tell me the name of the actual process that led to the birth of the self-portrait? Anybody? Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry. isn't dead yet? I resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again Bulgarian process and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photographers. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Right, time to get myself a gun. Can I... What? Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max. You're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. <laughs> oh, this game's gonna be... I hope I Hopefully I can get a gun there. I really hope please, I can get a gun. Please, I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. No, it means like a girl. <laughs> okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. Wow, sir, it's happening again. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble. I need for a hammer to break trust. it open. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. What to do? I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <laughs> Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying oh, to- Oh god damn it, man. This thing with the mess. Don't ever no. tell me what to do. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck, man? That's like half the time wasted just trying to select the goddamn car, man. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control and, uh, me. You are going wait, to what? I've got the hammer already now? Don't what fucking bullshit is that? I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? There's so many huh? much tricks in this Thank game. You, Mr. Madsen. This is like playing GTA. Is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. If the kids aren't doing smack, they're doing freaking LSD. 
apparently. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Get on outside. Come on, let me see. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Let's report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Uh, can I be honest? If I don't report it, then I can speak to douchebag and maybe get the gun off him. And then I can maybe start killing people. <laughs> You look a little stressed out. Are you? I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. I think he's taking drugs as well. Please. Apparently. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just oh, flushed God. my scholarship down the toilet. I'm gonna do this again. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. <laughs> She's just stood there in front of a pond now. And <laughs> you look a little strip. Which one do we go for then? Where's the third option? We're supposed to have a third option now, aren't we? Can we just like fuck off and not talk to him? Yeah, then we did that. <laughs> what? Where's the China play me where we need it? See that asshole. Hold on, Max. Come back here. The hell? What do you need some more drugs? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about... Oh, God, don't... F well, what are we supposed to learn, then? Chick spotted. Wait a minute. Uh... 
<laughs> Maybe this is the we could. <laughs> I just. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. He's fucking locked all the doors. He's a psychopath. I tell you. What the fuck are we doing in this school? Everyone's mental and smashed out of the face on drugs. We're mental as well. With some kind of fucking magical power. Sneaking. Look. Don't wander around. How the fuck did you see me? Outside. Fuck off, man. This is bullshit. Don't wander around here. God Get damn on. it, man. He tells me to go outside, right? Watch. Hold on, Max. Come back here. The fuck? And then they have to make this fucking stupid decision, right? Nathan. Fuck it. I just. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I don't care about Nathan. Fuck the future. <laughs> Where's the whale? It's just not a square in this game, but it's fun and fancy, isn't it? So where's Cloud then? Is Cloud gonna just like fly in being chased by gangsters or something the school's gonna get destroyed? Is that not Prescott, please come to like the Thank you. They've got Oh look, it's um Uh Bruce Willis. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Warren? Who the fuck is Warren? What? What the fuck? Okay, I better go <laughs> and grab that flash drive. What? Hitler? They've got fucking. What the fuck is this going on? Hitler looking moody in, uh, in this school is fucked. What's this one? Some kind of uh, yeah, that looks like a priest kind of fucking torture chamber. They <laughs> got Bruce Willis. That looks like some kind of. Female abuse poster. What the fuck? He's been. Oh, he's had his head blown off. That's a rock star that's had his head destroyed. That he's been shot. What the hell is wrong with this school? We moved to this school? Look how many missing people there are. They're all the same person. They all look the same. And who's that? Some chicken. Alright, that's probably the most normal picture we've seen so far. And drug reference again. Alright, so... So far we've found... Lots of drug references. The school isn't necessarily... Legit. I think, is the best way to phrase it. I don't know where it's supposed to be. But apparently, apparently it's... It thinks it's in 1939 Germany. Possibly. Oh. Misclicked, that's right. <laughs> Look at the tree. Okay. We can sit down by the tree. So bizarro to be Isn't it five years. Five years? I five years? What? Fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. 
This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. I think this is a better screensaver than um, Morton did. <laughs> As the hot chick, what? I'm supposed to be playing a chick. I know it's hard to tell, but <laughs> I mean, I've got this character is called Max, right? Has no boobs. Looks like a boy, but isn't. That's apparently what I'm supposed to be playing in this game. Um, I was hoping that coming back from, you know, just getting a drink, she would have actually matured into puberty and I wouldn't feel like I was playing a pubescent. What? The f. <laughs> I could go for a burger now. Let's go for a burger then. I don't want to go that way. You just said you wanted to go for a burger. Fucking kids, man. Justin Timberlake. Can, how do you punch? Can you punch? Oh, that. I want a gun. I want a fucking. Can I pick this up? Can I pick up the skateboard, please? Why can't I pick up the skateboard? He needs to wear that skateboard in his face. Like, a. Um, Fucking sword. <laughs> I can't interact with any of this shit apart from fucking Justin Timberlake. I need to go to the dorm and get your USB device. Where's the fucking dorm? I don't want to look at all of the Nazi paraphernalia. It's a fountain. Okay. Do you know it's a sit, apparently? This uh, is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. Okay. Is this the dorm? No, it's a swimming pool. Where's the dorm? Ah. Ah. And we're cruelty. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. That's an otter? How can you tell that's an otter? Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. You what, Lon? They've got smack and... I mean, they, to be honest, right, I'm surprised I can't go back in time. I wish I could. And tell the teacher, like, you know, when the answer was... What the answer for that question was. I'd say to him, sorry teacher, but I was just injecting heroin into my right eyeball. And he would be okay with it. Because that's what this school's all about, apparently. Hello. Hello. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. What I the guess fuck? cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. Who's Rachel? And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless our soul. Who's Rachel? But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. 
Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, <laughs> what kind of American history is that? Campus from going back to <laughs> Oh, fuck, uh... Yeah, fuck it, what's up? Absolutely, I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> right. Can, where's the dorm then? I don't want to go that way. Oh, for fuck's sake. Make your mind up. Ah, uh, she can't cut. <laughs> Can we steal your photos? Oh, fuck. I just want to murder all these guys. There, we found the dorm. Victory. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, God. This <laughs> is a mental exam. Yeah, it's apparently. I think it's a drug rehabilitation thing for like teenagers. Yeah. I can't tell. This is fucked. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Does she have a gun in her room? Hopefully she does. No. Uh, come on. Run. But not go. Get out of the way, you scrubs. Fucking move. I'll just step on you. Look, I don't care. Like, I give a good shit. Just fucking move. Oh, god damn it. Come to that then. <laughs> You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Is Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well made. No, so we've got to speak to Fuckface. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Black. We can't skip that. God. What damn a it. lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wake hipster <laughs> bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> yeah, says you, the smack bitch. Okay. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. Just... So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Then get, get up the fucking ladder. Alright, move the ladder over there, then get up there, and pour that over city head. How's that sound, eh? Can we not just get a shotgun and shoot it? Baseball bat, maybe? I thought this was GTA. I mean, she's got a bag, look. All women carry weapons in the bags, it's a common knowledge. There's a brick there, look. No. Right, now just... Pick up a brick. Walk over there and smash her in the face. Hippie. hippie. <laughs> Says the fucking smack creep. Come on, what do we do then? Yeah. We need some kind of projectile. Look, we can pick up a brick. Can we not just pick up a brick and smack him in the face with it? That would work. Piss on them. <laughs> Catch the fuck. <laughs> okay. Think, Max. Rewind and find something. Ah, football. Oh, dude. Jump. Wait. 
But he, just threw, he threw that straight through me. That's bullshit. Okay, it's up to you. Ow! No! There goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Nice, bro. Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. No. Nice. Weapons, where are the weapons? That pipe would do. The wrench, give me the wrench. No, nope. pen, the pen. I don't know what that is. Pliers, that would do. And a screwdriver, come on. Nope. No more screwdriver, come on. No. Ah. No. This <laughs> way, No paparazzi allowed. Um, right, next thing then, maybe. Maybe you. Wait. Awesome. Can I speak to this? Oh, okay. No. Nice, bro. the screw <laughs> awesome This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Nice, 
No. Nice, bro. Can I just sit in till you die of old ages of it? Let me do that. No. Cashmere, eh? Well, Cashmere and Dudex. No way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Yeah. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. <laughs> and no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Fuck that. If I can get a gun in this game, there is gonna be some kill. God. Be pissed we took so long. <laughs> All right, right, this is my room pen. I can no. I thought that was a body. <laughs> oh, I thought those shoes were my just a body loaded in, in the corner. <laughs> Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Oh, Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? Wait, that was the I'm first try. The fuck? <sighs> what the fuck? The <laughs> Is that not the first try? says that anymore. What the fuck? I'm wait, going to have wait, to call Chloe eventually and find out. First try then. Song? Do I know Hamilton, the greatest? God damn it, man! What? I'm not even looking at that. There's Looks some like issues with this UI. Ah, no. uh, Lord. Who started then? Oh, 
Zozo. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Dana. Right. I'm glad that she could figure that out. Right. Can, oh shit, I didn't get any weapons. Now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, fucking hell, man. Welcome to the real drama queens of Black. Can I pick this up? No. Can I pick this chair up? No. I can only go so far back in time. I don't care. What the fuck? You move, or oh, I fucking hey, sank you. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? I'm glad that According I'm good to Victoria, at Dana guessing. would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. <laughs> This is going to give me recurring nightmares. I can tell. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. I've locked... What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Don't let me out. I will scream. Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. <laughs> this is... Exterminatus would have been... Hey, Juliet. I think... Is everything cool? The better thing to do here. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even good. think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. If you don't let me out, I will scream. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. Leave I me alone, Victoria Max. Did. Get a clue. I know the proof is in her room. Oh, Something about going to Thingy's room. Victoria's room. There we go. And the door's open. Right, she, she must have a weapon, true. At least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. That's real nice, Victoria. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here.
Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I... I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Dior, Givenchy, you... Those boots are made for walking runways. <laughs> Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. <laughs> and this one there. Hmm, a pattern. <laughs> yeah, I know, chimp. But Juliet, read see these this. things. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Got the feeling that Warren's gonna be Almost someone died. that I'm gonna have to kill. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. What the fuck is it? Must protect my precious so what? Max never has to chase it down again. What the fuck? Let's stick it. No, you know, let's just get it. So we've got the USB thing. What are we supposed to do now then? Put the phone on! <laughs> uh, I don't think we're supposed to go in there, maybe? I don't know. She's 18? What? I think Max is actually a boy. Must be. Fuck this shit. No, what? Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. No, no. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Like, I'm gonna rewind that. I'm gonna rewind it and watch it again. Can I do that? I'll do that. From a better perspective. But I'm not gonna fucking stop it. Let's watch this. Fuck this shit. Oh. That's not even a hard hit. You can do better than that. Fuck this shit. <laughs> Tushy. God damn it. Fuck 
this shit. Ow! Get the hurt. Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. Didn't hit it hard enough. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now opposite. Right. I'd just like to point out, I've been playing this for now in 20 minutes, and I've not got a gun yet. This version of GTA is shit. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Max, get your ass over here. Can, can I just take your car? Can I F to get into it? No, it's not working. Fuck. This is the worst version of GTA I've ever played. I'm saying that. Yo, now. Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw that Victoria didn't take down that pic of you on Facebook. <laughs> it was it's a major bitch move. <laughs> No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It would be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Sorry, I can't listen to this anymore. Ouch, that sounds awful <laughs> the way you say it. I'll read it and just, event, you know, do whatever this is going to be done, but I can't listen to these goddamn lines. What? 
Yeah, that one. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. God, no, it's fucking awful. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom! No. <sighs> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! Oh, oh, I got this! <sighs> Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. No, I'm still there. I'm just not really paying no. attention to this. You were happy to wait five years for that call or even same. text. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hook up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. 
Don't use them. Well, you guys are going to listen to it. <laughs> and apparently, if you're a teenager, you've got to put up with all this fucking stuff. No. Broken? Oh, man, are you serious? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Pretty much same as me. Vicious. I don't know what we're doing at this place. I thought we were supposed to be at school. I think we've gone to the drug dealer's house. My room looks a bit different than the last she's, time you saw it. Yeah, she looks like she's into some hardcore it's shit. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. Up. My step fear makes sure you might not want to watch this one. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Don't watch it if you're a child. You shouldn't be watching this. Um, I didn't realize it was going to have, like, you know, drug abuse in it. We had such a blast drawing these together. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. I think this junk swallowed her discs. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Told you. Bunch of fucking skagheads. Champ, I don't believe that you suggested this game for me. It's disgusting. And you're a teacher as well. So to it would teach like drug abuse or like drug addiction type stuff. Is that what this is about? Who does think Chloe wouldn't pay her? Yeah, skagheads. <laughs> she does love trouble. Be like smackheads. Oh, only they just shoot up everything and anything. Champ teaches all sorts of stuff. <laughs> you, watch, you listen to a chicken remix while the smudging dodge have a breakdown. I'm not having a breakdown. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> it's some kind of point to the convention, I don't know. I thought it was supposed to be GTA, but there's no guns and you can't take cars or drive cars, so. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. 
Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. <laughs> Socialism. <laughs> So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. I see why. I bet your mom was not too happy. She was happy enough to marry a Nazi. Reason number 356 to escape. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys on adventure? I mean... You could be giving, you could like be doing these for me. <laughs> do you want to do that? Do you want to make these choices? Because I'm going to really give a fuck. <laughs> How do you know? Okay, there we go. Jumps on four. There we go. We'll do that one. Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. She's what? Gone. <laughs> Can you put on some music now? Right, well, we've stood up now. I think we're supposed to do something. Can we? Do we have to just sit in the closet? Can we do that? Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Can I, can I just bang my head against the door slowly? <laughs> It's not working, I can't do it. Shit. Put in some music. Is that what I've got to do? It won't play without any power. Okay. So I'm supposed to be some kind of electrician now. <laughs> She looks like, ah, oh, she's getting fucked now. All right, never mind, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment.
Oh shit! Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Oh, well, we... It's got a bit spooky, doesn't it? If you took... Uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember what I had to do nope. this thing. Someone locked it from the other side. Uh, was there after any more drugs? I can't remember now. Um, you were supposed to go into the garage. Garage, I think. yeah. And try to fix your broken camera. After you were snooping around the. the house. I haven't seen this place parents in five basement? years. No, parents Seems bedroom. like for I should be able to, to find, find the tools the I need here. here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Oh, security of Blackwell. Mm -hmm. I thought you looked familiar. Chloe's stepfather is mm -hmm. this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. Really? Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Ooh, and there's a gun rack. Hmm, guns missing. A gun gun. missing. Yes. Yes, score. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except, I can't reach them. Oh, God. Short people problems. Short emo boy-girl problems. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach.
Yeah, it was just... Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Ooh, Dutch is getting smarter. Look at that. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. I find the head in the cupboard. Uh. Uh. Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Debbie, strangeness effect. Can I do something with it? Wait, am I going to see something magical now? Is that what that's all about? Hmm. Well, so he filmed you. Of Blackwell I Academy. You were in this room. I wonder why. Ah, yes, good point. I wonder why placement of cameras. Should hmm. I switch this on? That could be. Decisions, decisions. Just want to see whether one is in Thingy's bedroom. If there is one in there. Yeah, it was. Inside the closets. No, that was the other bedroom. No, was not the parents' bedroom? I think so. That's not the kids' bedroom. It must be the parents. No, not the kids. Yeah, the parents. And you were in the parents' bedroom. The bird. Oh, shit, yeah. We can't get the tape because she's too stupid. That, uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Can you get the tape? Nope. And switch it on and look at it, but you can't take hmm. the tape or do anything with the tape. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. No password, like it would help me find tools anyway. <laughs> All right, Richard, I'll hop off. Let you deal with this teenage <laughs> angst for yourself. All right, dude. See you then. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. It might find you secrets. Wait, what? I wonder what's in those files up there. Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Always make them fall. She's, I mean, really? Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Looks like a ship wreck now.
she knows it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, is the teenage issue that bad? What the hell is that? Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Right, I think we've done it. I think. We can go outside. Amazing. Brr. I can feel Autumn pushing out the summer. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. <sighs> I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Joyce still works at Two Wheels Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. reception.
Which door was it? This one? It does. It's a living thing, okay? You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Booyah, you skank. Karma's a bitch. Nice framing, too. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you are a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. Swear. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> this day couldn't get any stranger. Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Girl oh, can't. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe, I'm but coming. This doing. Duh. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, open this door. Um, ah. I'm, I'm not a kid anymore. I can't hide under the bed. Where else? One, two, three. Shit. Yeah. 
I would hide behind the What's door. What's going on in here? Hello. Why is she here? None of your business. I don't like strangers here. Stop freaking. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. It's not my pot. It's from Max. Is this true? Uh, yeah. My pot. So you're bringing drugs into my home. How about if I call the police? That'd screw up your spotless Blackwell record. You do seem to get around, Max. I'm sick of you losers dragging Chloe down. Missy, you sure do like to pop up and start trouble. Like this afternoon. You don't have anything smart to say now, do get you? Get the hell away from huh? her, man. Stop harassing my friends. You don't have any friends. Like you know. You're not even a real cop. You're a fucking security guard. I was a soldier, Chloe. And Max, if I see you here again, you'll learn all about real trouble. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down, Max. He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can hang in this hick hole. Man, that did not go well for me. If I want to keep my Blackwell scholarship, I shouldn't lie for anybody, even Chloe. I have to think about my own future. Come on, let's escape out the window. It's cool, I do it every night. Isn't this awesome sauce? Totally reminds me of when we were kids. Come on, slow poke. Hold on. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Yeah, I know, champ, but I just wanted to see what would happen. Uh. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. A tree haiku? How pretty. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. Those sure aren't big feet. What kind of animal left those prints? Weird. Those glyphs remind me of the wind. Okay. How long has that been here? Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Sure you don't want to be alone? Have a seat, Pete. Let's go. 
You're in a good mood. Seeing my step dork get played makes me happy. I'm not as brave as you. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. He freaked out on poor Kate Marsh today. I know her. She's cool. Only that prick would bully her. He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He is so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. So, what about you and Nathan? We went to his room at Blackwell. We drank, and I laughed at his rich kid bullshit. He was one step ahead and put something in my beer. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. What are you going to do? Pop a cap in his ass? Let's call the police. Screw that. You already told the principal and I'm sure it's useless. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. Oh god, two references, drug references, and another game. What the fuck is wrong with these people? If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. This isn't destiny. I miss it's her. It's not even GTA. Shut up and get on with the story. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. Fuck's sake. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Yes, please. Where's the nearest airfield? Oh no! Not again! Why is this happening to me? Why am I here again? Exterminators. We must have exterminators. Is Chloe still up there? I have to find out. I don't want to rewind that. Shit! <laughs> Rewind and do something fast. No, I don't. We on about that's perfectly safe. To start from brick, block, rock, even yes. 
See, she's dragon punched it. Let's just remember that. There, I've rewind time. Yep. There, see? Ah. Oh. Nothing wrong with that. I don't see I anything how we'll get around wrong with this. this. Stuck on that. <laughs> Back, rewind now. What? I can't get over that. She wearing like high heels or something. I've never seen see. a storm like this in Oregon. Where? In where? People who set traps. Just for me. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Days until exterminatus. The tornado is headed straight for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years, which is so. No, no, I saw it! I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi? Right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything.
Well, I went and made a coffee whilst they were talking that last little sequence bit and um, I completed the game apparently. I have to say that's probably one of the hardest games I've ever played. Thanks for all the support, it's been great. Um, thanks Mum, thanks Dad for the inspiration to play this amazing game and to battle through the incredible difficulty it offered. Um, I'd like to thank God as well, but he didn't really help me. This is an asshole. Cham as well for buying me the game so I could witness the amazing neo Nazi uh, upbringing of children. Um. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, what to say? That is episode one out of five. Shit. How many did you buy me, Cham? <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs>74% of people comforted Victoria Lund. Uh Okay. No one, no one else, no, no, no one else of my friends has actually done that. <laughs> I feel special now. <laughs> kind of. There's probably one other place in the, in the world that's played this game. <laughs> Alright. No, maybe more than one. Ten. <laughs> uh, right, next. Didn't let Daniel what? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we watched that. <laughs> <laughs> People went back and helped it. I was like, why? That was one of the funniest things I've seen in this game. Dan Dennis pregnancy test? What the fuck? I mean, he also had a, a weed plant, apparently, possibly. Didn't see that. Uh, did me did that? Did did my, did the what? There was vehicles. <laughs> we did save the bird. Other people let the bird die. More people let the bed down. A bunch of fucking assholes. They'll fucking help the fat, like, well, that bin from getting hit in the head with a football, but they won't save a bird. What does that say for humanity? Fucking assholes. Didn't even see that, though. <laughs> uh, didn't leave any evidence. David's first. That's it. Oh. What? The fuck?